Okay, now I think it's probably best to go into the sky. Let's play with the clouds a little bit. I think one of my favorite things to paint are clouds because they look like anatomy and I love anatomy. Just soften some edges. So it goes complex, simple, complex, simple. Now let me go to my picture that had the clouds in it. There we go. Mostly kind of working in the negative space.
the mountains. That's the center of interest. <laughs> Get these unintentional things. You go, whoops. I don't know. That would be a little too strong back there. So you just dry out your brush, lay it over it, suck the paint right back into your brush. No panic. So there you go. Here, right back there, where all the contrast is. You just keep working, you know what I'm doing is I'm just working back and forth, looking at my scrap. Scrap is photographic reference. You just grab pieces from each one. But try not to just copy one photo. Take the best of a lot. And then encourage people to go out there and take the photos. People say, don't you want to go to the beautiful outdoors with nature? My answer is no. Don't you want to be out there with the fresh air? No. With the sunshine? No. I don't like the sun. You get burned. Nature, that's bugs. Fresh air is wind. No, I'd rather be in my studio. Let's see, what do I get in my studio? I get uh, refrigerated air from the air conditioner. That's perfect. It's nice and clean. Um, music, really important. I can watch a TV show. You can't get that if you're out in nature. Uh, if I want to watch a TV show and have the wild, I can put on a TV show that has lions and tigers and bears, you know. Like I can put on The Wizard of Oz and go, oh, there's nature. Um, if I want to eat, Natural things, well, of course, I have unlimited chocolate in my studio. Um, yeah, works great. 
if I have to go to the natural restroom. It's right outside my door. Where do you go when you're out in nature? Ew. All right, there we go. Hit that last accent. So as my mentor, Glenn Vilpu says, it takes two people to do a painting. One to do it and one to take it away before you ruin it. So I think I should take this one away pretty quick. Okay, so I'm just about to ruin it. Right, let's go ahead. I want to get some foreground here. Need a nice sharp edge here. And there we go. I think that's done. So these two mirror each other, so boom, boom, like that. And it's your S shape. Okay. And that was only 13 minutes at the end. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, let Corey know if you need anything to review. You know, it's just a bunch of stained grays. And uh, you don't need brushes like this to do a painting. Um, this is crazy. But boy, are they sexy. Let's take this one. Let's see. Let's see, see? So now we're going to go. See? Look at the shake. And there you go. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. All right, uh, let us know what you need, and uh, see you guys around.